Fortnite squad. I'm back with another GTA 5 online solo money glitch video. All right, this video we will be doing a brand new solo money glitch. It actually came out yesterday, but I was able to do it today and I want to show you guys how to take advantage of this because it's one of the simplest dupe glitches that you will see and that we've had in probably a long time. All right, now this is the hooker duplication glitch. What you're going to need is it works on Xbox One and PS4. You're going to want an MOC with personal vehicle storage, uh, a casino penthouse garage or an arena workshop. All right, and uh, the Fagios that we're going to be duping over, you just want to have them in some sort of garage. All right, 10 car garage anything like that anything other than the MC clubhouse and the car you want to dupe which is my issy you saw me put right there inside of my casino garage because I'm gonna be using the casino garage all right and we're also gonna be using a personal vehicle that you have don't worry that personal vehicle you don't want it to be weaponized all right so that you can actually use guns in it so the first thing you want to do is grab a vehicle that you think you're going to be using for the glitch a personal vehicle any one of them that's not weaponized and you want to wedge it basically with the moc like you see me doing right here and what you want to do is park the moc so that it's blocking off both the driver's side and passenger side door when using a wall as well and as you can see right here my personal vehicle i can teleport in and out of it and both sides are completely blocked off okay that's what you want now since this is the hooker dupe hookers are only out from i think it's 11 at 11 at night till 5 in the morning okay so this is the spot right here once you've gotten your moc set up go ahead and grab a vehicle that's not weaponized that you can use guns in this is the comet the comet works pretty good for this and uh, i know this spot right here from an old hooker duplication glitch where there's always one that spawns right here so once you get you know right up next to one of these girls that you want to go ahead and honk your horn and they'll walk in all right so now on the way back to the garage that you're using you want to go ahead and not really crash into too much stuff, all right? I wouldn't crash at all because you could scare her off. And you don't want to scare her off just yet, okay? You're going to see what we're going to be doing here. So once you have the hooker in your passenger seat, go ahead and go back to your MOC and by the garage that you're using. And you want to wedge the car, okay? This is just a regular personal vehicle. You just want to wedge this car. And I'm going to wedge it in that same spot you saw there. Now what you want to do is cycle through and pick one of your guns and just shoot it. Just shoot it up in the air. She'll get scared. Go ahead and press Y or triangle to get out of the car. You should teleport out and she should stay in there. Okay, that's what you want. You don't want to teleport out without shooting your gun first because she would teleport out with you. So once you've done that, you want to run far away. Okay, run far away so that you don't have the returned vehicle uh, because the, your personal vehicle's back there, but you can still request a motorcycle. So you see that? I'm going to use a Fagio mod, and that's in a 10-car garage. So I just called the Fagio mod out, and as you can see, the hooker's still in the personal vehicle, if, if you can see that on the map on the bottom left. The Fagio does not spawn. It's kind of in a glitch state right now on the map. So what you want to do is run into your casino, penthouse garage, or arena garage, whichever one you're using, and you want to go grab the car that you're going to be duping. Now, you don't need custom plates for this glitch. I did put a custom plate on here just so you can see the plate actually change, okay? It'll be getting the plates from the Fagios, which are all generic plates, so it's a merge glitch, okay? You're getting a fresh plate every single time. Now, as you can see right here, I have the glitching plate on. I'm just going to drive this car out, okay? And as you can see, my personal vehicle is still there with the hooker in it, okay? So all you got to do now is actually just cycle through, pick one of your guns, and shoot the hooker, and you're going to see the plate change, and your personal vehicle disappear right after that happens. So here we go. I'm going to aim right there at the head, and shoot her. That personal vehicle should disappear, and now I have a new plate. Just like that, guys. This is a dupe. Go ahead and drive it into your MOC to save and that's it all right if you're telling me that's not an easy dupe glitch then I don't know what is that is as simple as they come uh, really really cool glitch all right and it's really easy to rinse and repeat now the big downside of course is yes that you do have to wait uh, between 11 p.m. and 5 a.m. to actually get these you know the hookers in the car and stuff so you can't do this glitch at any time you want but it's still a really easy and fun one to do all right and if you did dupe glitches back in the day uh, when the MOC first came out this will bring you back a little bit it's a uh, it's a pretty cool glitch so yeah to rinse and repeat you would basically just you can leave that car in the MOC that dupe that's perfectly fine uh, call out the car that you're gonna be picking up the hooker in 
Uh, I think you can just put that car in that garage, like say the casino garage, if you really want to. You can just pull it out of there. But uh, yeah, this main road, I wanted to show you guys another location to pick up, uh, you know, to pick up these girls. Uh, this main road that leads to the casino, always just look left and right because you'll find them eventually here. As you can see, here's, uh, here's two of them right here just waiting. So just honk your horn, don't do anything crazy, let them get in, and then you'll be good. So uh, yeah, once you got them, go ahead and drive back over to the casino. That's what I'm doing here. Now, honestly, I don't see why we can't be using 10 car garages. I just went by the steps of the founder. Uh, by the way, the founder is this glitching. Uh, are glitching and uh, so shout out to them I'll leave the link to the thread down in the description but uh yeah I, I don't see why we couldn't use another you know another garage other than the casino or the arena so as you can see right there what I did I parked wedged both of us in there shot my gun up in the air and TP'd out and the hooker stays in there okay so that's what happened right there now I'm gonna go ahead and go far enough to where I don't have return you know return vehicle to storage with the MC menu and you want to be able to just request a Fagio. I'm using Fagio mods. These vehicles need to be in a 10 car garage somewhere, okay? All right, any sort of garage other than the MC Clubhouse. So yeah, once you've done that, you want to just run over to your casino garage or arena garage and uh, grab the car that you're going to be duping. All right, so that's my Issy right here that I'm grabbing. I think this one sells for about 1.5 million. But uh, yeah, you see me duping. This is the original car right here with a plate on it. And uh, when you drive it out, that's how you know it's glitched. Your person, your other personal vehicle should still be out on the map. And uh, yeah, cycle through your weapons, go ahead, shoot her in the head, and your plate should change right in front of your eyes. And just like that, we have a brand new generic plate on our dupe. Press right D-pad to get it back into the MOC, and you've saved it. All right, guys, very, very simple glitch. Uh, so big shout out to the founder once again for finding this. Take advantage of this today. Uh, tomorrow's Monday. Anything can happen during the week. But uh, yeah, so that's going to be it for me, guys. Like I said, my name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. Make sure to turn on post notifications if you haven't already. Some of you that are even subbed may not have them on. So uh, make sure you get post notifications on so you're instantly notified the second I post any sort of video here on YouTube. Go follow me on Twitch for future live streams. Go follow me on Twitter for everything else. And go ahead and message me in case anybody is interested in any sort of accounts. I have a few of them on hand with facility sets and stuff. Uh, if you're interested, let me know on Twitter. All right. Take it easy and have a good night. With these modded accounts, they're going to have rank money outfits and modded cars, and they're going to have modded status and modded KD. So the accounts will probably will probably have like maybe 20 bill on the account. So that's a lot of money. It'll take you ages to spend that, and you've also got cars on the account that you can go ahead and sell for 2.8 mil, which is a deluxe's. So guys, if you want to win one of these modded accounts, make sure you go ahead and do those steps right now. And guys. With that being said, let's get right into today's video. Yo, how's it going guys? My name is Fitico and welcome back to another video here on my channel. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you an unlimited running glitch working in GT5 after the most recent patch of 1.50. So guys, if you do go on to enjoy today's video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for the latest and the greatest GT5 online content. And with all that being said, let's get right into today's video. So guys, what you want to do is you want to be in an online session. Now what you're going to need to do is get a personal vehicle out and you want to head down to any Los Santos. Now you want to go ahead and get your car and you want to drive into Los Santos. And before you come into the kind of cutscene where you're going into Los Santos, you want to press pause so then you can drive about in Los Santos. Now you want to drive it up to the part where I do it in the video and you just really want to park it there. Now you want to walk out of Los Santos, now you want to go down to the street just next to Los Santos and you just want to go ahead and grab a street vehicle and it doesn't matter what one, it just needs to be one that you can drive into Los Santos with. So guys, as you can see I'm just going to run to this red truck over here I'm just going to kick the guy out of the car and I'm going to drive into Los Santos. So guys, we're going to do the exact same thing but we're going to set our spawn location to the last location also, so make sure you do that. 
and what we're going to do is we're going to drive into Los Santos and press pause before we hit the cutscene. We're going to park the car like this where the car is in Los Santos but the wheel is just at the door. So you want to go ahead and place a sticky bomb onto the car. Now what you want to do is you want to walk into Los Santos. Now you pretty much want to stand in front of the car and press left on the D-pad to explode it and you should still be alive. So you want to be next to the car when it does that. So as you can see I'm going to press right. I'm going to press pause real quickly and we're going to press online and we're going to go down to crater. Now as you can see in the background, I do not die from the explosion, I am still alive. So what we need to do is when we're in crater we're going to go ahead and load a creation. Now you can just create a team deathmatch or something like that, but just make sure you've got one you can just load. There's a published one or a saved one, it doesn't matter. So guys, I'm just going to start up one of these ones that I created ages ago. Now this was the mission that I made for the 10k per kill that sadly got patched, but I'm going to go into it right now. Now once you're in creator mode as your own character and you can run about and do whatever you want, you want to just follow what I do in the video. Now guys, once you get into it, you just want to go ahead and press pause. Now you're going to go to friends. Now you need to join a friend that's in an online session. So as you can see it says join game. I'm going to accept that. And I'll say get in GT5 online session details. Now we're just going to wait until it says you can accept that. Are you sure you want to leave creator? Now obviously we're going to do that. Now guys, once you load up into the online session, what we're going to do is we're just going to go back to our own personal vehicle and we're going to do the same steps as where we're, we're going to park it in the Los Santos. So we're going to drive the personal vehicle up to Los Santos and before we hit the cutscene, we're going to press pause. Now we're going to park it up in front of, uh, now you're going to park it where I do park it in the video. Now guys, we're going to walk out with the Los Santos and we're going to get another street vehicle. Now guys, you want to do the exact same way, drive in and press pause. Now, once you do get that um, street vehicle in Los Santos, you just want to have it behind your vehicle. Now you want to hop out of it, now you want to get in your own personal vehicle again, now you want to drive that personal vehicle outside the garage. Now you want to park it just at the door so you can go back into Los Santos, now you're going to hop inside that street vehicle. So now guys, once you are in the street vehicle, you're just going to go back a little bit and you're just going to push your personal vehicle outside the garage so the door does shut and when you drive back in, you should get the automatic cutscene. So now guys, what you're going to need to do is you're just going to go down to sell and you see C. There you go, you get a lot of money for selling it. So, I don't know if it's to do with the personal vehicle that you have in front of it, but you can actually sell any street vehicle for a lot of money. So I'm guessing if you just have an expensive vehicle uh, as your personal vehicle and you do this glitch with that, then you're just going to get a lot of money from selling all these cheap vehicles. Now you're going to have to re repeat this glitch constantly, it's not a consistent glitch where you can just go and get another street vehicle and rinse and repeat. You need to start the glitch from scratch in a new session. So guys, that is it for today's video, I hope you did enjoy, if you did don't forget to drop a like as it does show your support and subscribe with post notifications on so you never miss out on the latest and the greatest GT5 online content and guys I'm Vitico and I'm out, peace.
So guys, did you know if you drop a like in the next 5 seconds, tomorrow morning you will wake up and you will walk out your house and you will end up standing on a £50 note? And welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. Now guys, I hope you all having a fantastic day so far. And in today's video, I got some awesome news for you guys. But before we get into this video, I said, this is a brand new working money glitch. And this is working after the most recent patch of 1.50. Now Rockstar will not ban you from doing this easy money glitch. So you don't need to worry about getting banned. So guys, let's get right into today's video. And welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you an unlimited money glitch working in GT5 after the most recent patch of 1.50. So guys, if you do go on to enjoy today's video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for the latest and the greatest GT5 online content. And with all that being said, let's get right into today's video. So guys, what you want to do is you want to be in an online session. Now what you're going to need to do is get a personal vehicle out and you want to head down to any Los Santos. Now you want to go ahead and get your car and you want to drive into Los Santos and before you come into the kind of cutscene where you're going into Los Santos you want to press pause so then you can drive about in Los Santos. Now you want to drive it up to the part where I do in the video and you just really want to park it there. Now you want to walk out of Los Santos, now you want to go down to the street just next to Los Santos and you just want to go ahead and grab a street vehicle, now it doesn't matter what one, it just needs to be one that you can drive into Los Santos with. So guys, as you can see, I'm just going to run to this red truck over here. I'm just going to kick the guy out of the car and I'm going to drive into Los Santos. So guys, we're going to do the exact same thing, but we're going to set our spawn location to last location also. So make sure you do that. And what we're going to do is we're going to drive into Los Santos and press pause before we hit the cutscene. We're going to park the car like this where the car is in Los Santos, but the wheel is just at the door. So you want to go ahead and place a sticky bomb onto the car. Now what you want to do is you want to walk into Los Santos, now you pretty much want to stand in front of the car and press left on the d-pad to explode it and you should still be alive. So you want to be next to the car when it does that. So as you can see I'm going to press right, I'm going to press pause real quickly and we're going to press online and we're going to go down to crater. Now as you can see in the background, I do not die from the explosion, I am still alive. So. What we need to do is when we're in Creator, we're going to go ahead and load a creation. Now, you can just create a team deathmatch or something like that, but just make sure you've got one you can just load as a published one or a saved one, it doesn't matter. So guys, I'm just going to start up one of these ones that I created ages ago. Now, this was the mission that I made for the 10k per kill that sadly got patched. But I'm going to go into it right now. Now once you're in creator mode as your own character and you can run about and do whatever you want. You want to just follow what I do in the video. Now guys, once you get into it, you just want to go ahead and press pause. Now you're going to go to friends. Now you need to join a friend that's in an online session. So as you can see it says join game, I'm going to accept that and I'll say get in GT5 online session details. Now we're just going to wait until it says you can accept that. Are you sure you want to leave creator? Now obviously we're going to do that. Now guys, once you load up into the online session, what we're going to do is we're just going to go back to our own personal vehicle and we're going to do the same steps as we're, we're going to park it in the Los Santos. So we're going to drive the personal vehicle up to Los Santos and before we hit the cutscene, we're going to press pause. Now we're going to park it up in front of, uh, now you're going to park it where I do park it in the video. Now 
Now guys, we're gonna walk out of the Los Santos and we're gonna get another street vehicle. Now guys, you wanna do the exact same way, drive in and press pause. Now, once you do get that um, street vehicle in Los Santos, you just want to have it behind your vehicle. Now you want to hop out of it. Now you want to get in your own personal vehicle again. Now you want to drive that personal vehicle outside the garage. Now you want to park it just at the door so you can go back into Los Santos. Now you're going to hop inside that street vehicle. So now guys, once you are in the street vehicle, you're just going to go back a little bit and you're just going to push your personal vehicle outside the garage so the door does shut and when you drive back in, you should get the automatic cutscene. So now guys, what you're going to need to do is you're just going to go down to sell and you see, see, there you go, you get a lot of money for selling it. So, I don't know if it's to do with the personal vehicle that you have in front of it, but you can actually sell any street vehicle for a lot of money. So I'm guessing if you just have an expensive vehicle uh, as your personal vehicle and you do this glitch with that then you're just going to get a lot of money from selling all these street vehicles. Now you're going to have to re repeat this glitch constantly, it's not a consistent glitch where you can just go and get another street vehicle and rinse and repeat. You need to start the glitch from scratch in a new session. So guys, that is it for today's video, I hope you did enjoy, if you did don't forget to drop a like as it does show your support and subscribe with post notifications on so you never miss out on the latest and the greatest GT5 online content and with all that being said, I'm Vapid HD and I'm out. Peace.